What are you most afraid of? What am I not afraid of? The absence of self. How? Oh. Utter failure to be unique and distinct. I need a therapist. I didn't even know it until right now. I'm afraid of everything. No. Jesus Christ. I fear God. That's it. Fucking life, man. Death. Death. You're getting out of the house. I got agoraphobia. I hate bridges. When I need a fear, it's there for me. You know, it's like it's like I have you know these fears I can choose from, and and if time comes where you know there's a utilitarian purpose. I will use that. I used to be afraid of living, now I'm afraid of death, and that's a nice change. Uh, if you ask me what I'm afraid of, you gotta talk to my therapist, man. Sex! Snakes? Because they're the devil? It's too close. I am I, I am afraid of certain kinds of confrontation. Disappointing people. Disappointing my mother? Being my father. I am most afraid of... People, my mother, my father reading my book and not liking it. Failure. Failure. Failing. Failure of some sort. Disappointing others through their perception of failure. Failing to make the people around me happy. Letting people down in terms of uh, family and friends. Failure. Dying to failure. Not just failure, but the idea that you haven't fulfilled your potential or your dreams. Not succeeding at what I care about, I guess. Losing, failing. Failure. <laughs> That's what I'm most afraid of. Meaninglessness. Yes. Because it makes my heart drop to my knees. Failure is the worst thing that could happen to anybody. Dying alone. Cancer. I've seen many men me. die alone. Oh, God. Yeah, I would hate to die alone. I, I had a anyway, one, one, one man in so Kandahar, and, and he had been shot in the um, in the abdomen. And, um, and he was probably 19. And, um, and I came across him, and I was trying to pull him off the, out, out of the middle of the road. And, um, and I was pulling him, and he told me to stop. And so I stopped. And um, there was a firefight going on between our platoon and um, who we were fighting against. And so I stopped, and, and, and he looked at me in the eyes and, and said, I don't, I don't want to die alone. And I said, you're not going to die. You're not going to die. And he said, no, I'm going to die. I'm not really afraid of anything. I'm not afraid of anything. Nothing. I'm not afraid of anything that I can think of. Blindness. Being buried alive. Being burned alive. Not pleasing God. I am afraid of fear. <laughs> fear is irrational. Getting eaten by sharks. The ocean. I've oh, seen sorry. Jaws. I've seen Deep Blue Sea where the sharks get smarter. Water's trying to kill me. Stay out of it. I'm seeing monsters, like I, I'm just creating all the stuff that's gonna like hurt me and attack me and 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 then all of a sudden I, I can't swim anymore and then that's the end. You're supposed to fear God. Even though God told, tells me that I'm afraid, uh, I have to be afraid of him. I'm afraid of slugs. Spiders. 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 I don't like spiders either. Because that was just how I was raised. I am afraid of tarantulas. I probably would say tarantulas and snakes. Spiders? Snakes. What? Snakes. Spiders. <laughs> spiders. Snakes. Rats. He can strike me down right now. No, I'm not doing anything bad. I don't know, maybe guns. Leeches. <laughs> Knives. People. War. Humanity. God is love.
That's what it is. That's why I fear him. Not finding somebody and have a crazy love affair with. I don't fear love, but I fear someone that can, has, I mean, any person that has control of him. Um, um, like, in any situation, when you're fearful about something, you kind of have to go to, like, what is the worst thing that can happen, right? And the worst thing that can happen ultimately in any situation is like death. I didn't say God wants to kill my ass. I said he could if he wanted to. And I'm not afraid of dying. <laughs> I fear, I guess I fear the unknown. situations. I don't like awkward uh, interactions, uh, run-ins, feelings. Getting fat! Getting fat, like my mother. Yeah. My mother dying. I'm scared of that. What if no one likes me if I'm that way? Not having friends. Not having people around me that I love. Loneliness. Probably my parents passing away or something. Oh, yeah. You know, it's kind of hard. Children dying. My son's dying before old age. My children getting harmed or injured. Losing my children would be a pretty big fear. What worries me most, it really does, just personally in my own little life, is 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 my children being healthy or, or, or me being healthy. And that's just kind of a hypochondriac kind of thing that kind of, I get that from my mother. If I have fears, probably severe pain. I'm falling off a cliff. Vomiting. I am most afraid of mankind not banding together enough in the face of a crisis that will eventually wipe us out easily that we could have easily avoided. I'm afraid that the world is going in the wrong direction. The Tea Party. The true believer. I don't like the fact that they think uh, education is a threat. I'm most afraid of a world where creative writing and the arts are deemed not useful and without understanding that they're the most useful. I see it. Well, that looks dark and dangerous. on the street, falling through the cracks of the earth. What am I afraid of? I don't know. And I'm on email or whatever. <laughs> Loss of our freedoms? Be careful. As a country? But you're not. When I wake up at about 3.30 in the morning, you know, it's, it's the time when the, your poltergeist come out. It's also the time your liver is processing the alcohol or something, so you usually feel a lot of guilt. Regret. I don't know if it's like more of a trade. Yeah, I, like, I really don't want to feel that. Because I 
think that's the most wasteful feeling when life is so short. <laughs> Myself. Myself. My. Myself. I'm afraid of meeting myself on the street. I'm afraid of meeting the self that I want to be on the street. That thing that I'm always trying to break through and be and what and actualize myself. I'm afraid of actualization. Not making it happen. Running out of time. Success. Uncertainty. I guess. I am really afraid of myself. Sometimes I don't know what I'm really capable of. For somebody to find out what I'm capable of. I feel pretty much like I, I control the things that happen in, in my life. You know, like at least the way I feel, you know. And so I think if something bad could happen, it would be because of me. And, uh, I don't feel like I have 100% self-control when I try to. I think I'm afraid of uh, probably total honesty. <laughs> Not just for myself, but for other people. And yet I think it's something I long for. Is it bad or is it good because it's different or more than? I'm capable of more than what is being presented to me as acceptable. You can be the most dangerous person. You can be on worst enemy. Sometimes I find myself in moments where I think I know myself, and then suddenly some... I see something else coming out, and I recoil in fear. You, you, you have nothing to fear but my right friend. Be, be, be careful. Be, be ca ca careful. But fear not. You have nothing. Be careful. Be careful. But fear not. You have nothing. Be careful. Be careful. But fear not. Be careful. You have nothing to fear, my friends. Be careful. But fear not.